Hello, my name is Chris, and thanks for watching the Mac Stadium installation tutorial on how to install a Daylight server on your remote Mac Mini. As you'll see, I'm already connected to my remote Mac server via Splashtop, which is a great remote desktop application. Um, on my desktop, you'll see I've already downloaded and mounted the image for my Daylight server, so we'll start by double-clicking the image. Go ahead and double-click the installation file, and make your way through the installation options. As soon as it's finished installing, it may or may not automatically open. If it doesn't, you can open it through Spotlight or from your Applications folder. As you'll see, when you first open the Daylight server, it's automatically locked to off and you can't access any menu items. To begin editing your server and initially starting it up, you need to uncheck this lock icon. As soon as you unlock this, you will be able to immediately turn your Daylight server on. Once you've done so, you want to click on the Databases icon to set up your initial database. In this menu, you'll click the plus icon and input your information as needed. Our example will be Daylight DB. The first user is the most important as it is your admin user, so enter it with the appropriate information. As soon as you're done, click Finish. Your next menu option is Licenses. If you've done just a temporary 30-day trial, this will be empty. Otherwise, if you have purchased Daylight Server, you can click the Add License icon and input your information. The next option is Network. On this screen, you want to make sure Naval Server Access over the Internet is checked, as well as click on Edit and either enter your hostname or IP address. You can leave the public ports as they are, as Mac Stadium does not block any of your port servers. Next menu item is Backup. In this section, you can both select your folder for where all backups will be stored, as well as adjust the backup schedule as you would like. You also need to make sure to have at least one of your databases selected. Your next menu icon is the Admin Email option, where you can set up to have emails of notifications, for any problems your Daylight server happens to have. And lastly is the iOS devices. As you connect devices to your server, the information will be stored here. Now that we're done with our setup, we'll go back to the General tab, lock our server, and we're done. If you're having any trouble installing your Daylight server, feel free to contact us at www.macstadium.com by opening a support ticket or through live chat. You can also find additional support for Daylight by visiting www.marketcircle.com forward slash help. Be sure to check out macstadium.com forward slash blog to learn more ways to enhance and use your Mac Mini server. Thanks for watching.